American guy that goes down to Mexico for holiday. I use the word holiday intentionally as opposed to vacation because I think like, if you need to vacate anything in your life, you're not living on purpose. Right? And I like going on holiday. It's much more fun right? and celebratory. So this guy goes down. He's going down for vacation, though. And he gets there, and one morning he takes a walk, one late morning, and he goes down to the fishing village, and all the boats are out. One is coming back in with one guy in it full of yellowfin tuna. And he says, wow, it's like you got a lot of tuna there. He goes, yeah, I'm pretty good at what I do. And he said, well, it's like only 11.45. How come like, you're coming in so early? Everybody else is still out. And he goes, this is more than enough. The fisherman says, more than enough to uh, provide for my family. And he said, well, what do, you, you know, what do you do with the rest of your day? And the fisherman says, well, you know, I wake up when I wake up. I go fishing. I catch some fish. I come back. I sell fish. And I go have a siesta. You know, I hang out with my wife and, and my kids. And I, I play guitar, you know, with my amigos at night and sip wine. And I, I have a totally full and rewarding life. And the businessman is like, I can help you. <laughs> and really? Yeah. And, 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 that's, and the Mexican's like, really? <laughs> How? He says, well, first of all, if you stay out longer, catch more fish, you can make more money, right? Then with that extra money, then you can buy another boat, train a guy, and then double the amount of fish that you catch, make more money. And the guy's like, uh-huh, yeah. And then what? He says, then oh, eventually you can have a whole fleet. He goes, then what? He says, well, then you could take your company public. He goes, yeah, and then what? He goes, well, then you could sell it for millions. He's like, yeah, how long would this take? 15, 20 years? And then the fisherman says, and then what? And he says, then you could retire to a small Mexican coast <laughs> fishing village, and sleep in, wake up when you want, go fishing when you want, and take siesta with your wife, and then, and then, and then. Which is what you're talking about, right? <laughs> Which is like, you know, what, what, it's like in part of our conditioning, okay, that, that we experience in the West, and it's true in many cultures on this planet, maybe to all cultures to varying degrees, is this like doing addiction, this belief that we need to be somewhere other than where we are. That here and now ain't good enough. That this is not okay. The truth is, this, this, is the most miraculous moment of your life. Because it's the only moment that exists, the now. The past is a memory, the future is a fantasy. You will never have, under any circumstance, access to more bliss than you will right now. And when we can feel that, when you can vibe that way, you have activated creative genius and you will be successful by any definition that you can come up with.